Now, if you're in the market for true wireless earbuds that have six and a half hours of battery life, 24 hours of talk and listening time, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. This is EBP9 Tech Reviews, and today we're gonna to take a look at one more's stylish true wireless earbuds. Let's get right to it. Now, in today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing review, call quality test, music test, of one more's stylish true wireless in-ear headphones. These earbuds are $99, under 100 bucks, and they have great bass. So let's get right to it. Now the first thing we're gonna cover is battery life. Battery life on these are pretty decent. Six and a half hours of battery life, and you get 15 minute quick charge technology. That means if you put them in this charging case for 15 minutes, you're gonna get three hours more of battery life. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is, is if you leave them in this case, and let's say you put them in your gym bag and you don't work out for a week, you don't have to worry. You have 96 hours of standby time. That means that these are gonna last a long time. In addition to that, if you think about what's the total battery life usage between the charge and the case, you can get 24 hours of usage. So that's 24 hours of talk time or 24 hours of music time. Or you can mix them between, talk and music. The bottom line is that you'll get 24 hours of audio listening or talking experience. Now, as we take a closer look at the case itself, uh, the case is pretty compact relative to the earbuds and what we've seen on the market. Uh, unfortunately, you do have a USB micro USB uh, connection, not a USB-C connection like I would like to see. Uh, the case does not support wireless charging, but the case is pretty secure and compact. You push the button to open it up, and I like the way it opens up, and the earbuds themselves are magnetically placed inside. Uh, they do have um, a little bit of a guiding mechanism, so you can see as I grab them here and I put them in, they kind of snap into place, and I could do that with e either side. Now, as soon as you take them off, or outside of the case, they're gonna turn on. When you put them in, they will also turn off as soon as you close them and put them securely in place. So, uh, really nice case, uh, real nice functionality. Now let's focus on the earbuds themselves. Now the earbuds themselves are pretty nice. Uh, they're small, they're compact, and they're lightweight. You'll notice that they have the contact points here for charging. You'll notice that you have these uh, ear wing tips that are gonna make them stay in your ear. And I've tried these with running, jumping, no issues there. You have a right and left indicator. You have your ear gel, and it doesn't go too far deep into your ear canal as you can see there. And uh, you do have a multifunction button. So this multifunction button, depending on the earpiece, is gonna serve as your on-off button. It's gonna be your music play. It's gonna do all those things. Now the one thing that these do not support is auto pause. So some of the features that you'd see in some of the more expensive earbuds, because again, these are sub 100 earbuds, where as soon as you take off the music uh, or your earbud, the music pauses automatically, uh, that won't happen. But they are really comfortable and they are very lightweight. Let me show you what they look like on. So I'm gonna put this one on here. All right, so as soon as I put them on, you know, I'm gonna be hearing uh, not much because they have great noise isolation. They do not feature active noise cancellation like the Sony, but the ear tips themselves, when they go in, they do provide some really good isolation from, you know, what's going on around you. Now, let me go ahead and turn to the right and left so you can see what they look like. So they're relatively thin profile, right? So they don't really stand out that much as we've seen with some of the earbuds, and they are very secure. So they're not gonna come out. And again, in running situations, jumping jack situations, if you're doing CrossFit, you have no problem. So uh, they feel well, and I also haven't experienced any fatigue. Now, if you do find that one of them comes out and the other one stays in, make sure you switch the gels. You can have different size gels in your ears. You don't have to use the same size on both sides. Now, these earbuds are Bluetooth 5.0 certified, and they have no issues with synchronization on any of the videos that I've seen either on Hulu, YouTube, um, Netflix, no problems whatsoever. Uh, the other thing is that the earbuds can be used independently, which is really cool. So I can actually have one in my ear only, right? And it doesn't matter if it's my right earbud or my left earbud. So I'm gonna put one away, and I can have this one on. And I can get six and a half hours of usage of this one. When I'm done, I can take it off, put it in the case and I can take the other one and have another six and a half hours, depending on the situation. Now you could do this also in call settings. So you can actually use one as one earpiece for taking phone calls for six and a half hours and do the same thing with the other one, which is also really good. Now, if you have them both in your ear at the same time, and let's say I have this one and this one in my ear, just like this, and, and I take one out and put it away and I'm listening to music, the music, once I put it away, is gonna stop. If I'm watching a video, it's gonna stop. If I have a call, the call's gonna stop. And it's gonna take anywhere from three to four seconds for the earbud to reconnect 
to your phone. If you're listening to music, the one downfall there is that you're gonna have to press the play button to start it up again. If you're watching a video, it's gonna pause because it's lost the connection and you'll have to press play to start it up again. But you can use them independently, which is a thumbs up in my book. Now from an audio quality perspective, these sound really good. These are gonna be bass friendly earbuds. So if you are into bass, these are gonna be good for you. Uh, they do uh, represent mids and highs well, but they're not as crispy or clean as some of the earbuds I've heard. Now that being said, while they favor the bass side, the bass doesn't overwhelm the mids and the highs that are present. So as I'm listening to music that introduces first vocals and then you hear the bass come in and maybe some of the instruments coming in afterwards, you don't lose the vocals themselves, which is really great. Because some earbuds that favor bass, when bass comes in, completely overpowers the other sides of you know what you would be listening to. To. So these, strong on the bass side, but you're not gonna lose the mids and high definition, any of the vocals, when the bass comes in, or if you're just listening to something that's bass heavy, you'll still be able to pick up your mids and the highs. But again, it doesn't favor those sides, so they're not gonna be as crispy or clean as some of the other earbuds that we represented here on the channel. And also, before you guys ask, these are not gonna compete with the Sennheisers in any way. Sennheisers, I'll tell you in every review, they're gonna be the top of the line when it comes to music. And then uh, following that would be the Sonys, and the Sonys have fantastic bass, and I would say that they have a, a broader sound stage than these do. But for 99 bucks, or under, you know, under 100 bucks, these sound pretty good, and they have great bass. Now as we focus on call experience, uh, the great thing about these earbuds is that you can use them uh, both at the same time and get a stereo call experience, or you could use them independently and still have a decent call experience. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a call quality test so that you can see what the call quality would look like in a noisy environment. Now the next thing we're gonna do is a call quality test in a simulated coffee environment. So we have 360 sound around us and we have a decibel meter giving us a sense of how much noise is coming in. So we're gonna switch to the one more true wireless earbuds. Now this is what the call quality would sound like if you're using these earbuds in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, just let me know what you thought about the call quality in the comments below. So that wraps up our review of the one more stylish true wireless earbuds. Let me know what you thought about the product in the comment area below.